car. Is the AC gonna be a problem? Maybe we just turned on just a little bit. It's a super inconvenient podcast, I'll tell you that it's right okay. now. It's okay, I like inconvenient podcasts. Yeah. Do you really hold good. it like that the whole time? It's so awful. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, I need a rig. But like, what rig fits within this? I know. I'd almost say none. I know. I'd go as far as to say zero. I know. I thought about it. Is this in your shot? I hope so. Do you think it is? It might be. Let's do one of these. Let's do the old tuck. The old boner tuck. Let's cover up the safest part of my car. I wish this smelled like hamburger. Because it was a hamburger. <laughs> do you one. wish it smelled like hamburger? No. I kind of do. Uh, uh, you think we could uh, write a song together just yeah, now? I think we can. What would it be about? Um, mud. Mud and mud slides. Mud slides and mud wrestling. Oh, and what's the what's the point of mud wrestling? I want to know. I think there's a sexual appeal to it. What if is it's it? A hot You're girl in like bikinis. Well, I think the stereotypical slippery girls? one: slippery girls, slippery boys, mud mixed with olive oil. Uh, off brand. Yeah. Because nobody fucks with the. So it's about slippery boys. Slippery boys, slippery girls, slippery toys, slippery bills. What is it about slippery love that makes people want to fuck? Well, I mean, lube feels good. Are you a lube boy? I'm a lube you boy, yeah. yeah. I mean, sometimes you don't. Lube. No, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you just get in there. If it starts hurting, you gotta do a little lube, though. Who does it hurt for, though? The guy sometimes. Can we stop at the 99 cent store? Holy shit, do you actually want to? I kind of do. Go for a little shopping, a little cutscene? I kind of do, yeah. I'd actually love that. Want to go in there? Yeah, Absolutely. Let's go in there. Whoa! Dude, we just hit a speed bumper. Am I freaking out? I killed a boy. Car boys! Car Whoa. boys are about to be outside of the car boys. Yeah, this is going to be the first segment on car boys that is actually off and outside, outside of the vehicle. Of a car. Just a couple boys and we're yeah. looking for 99 cent stuff. Is this really a full 99 cent store? It's the. This might be the biggest 99 cent store I've ever been in. Nachos! Steve. Those are nacho nachos. <laughs> hey, what's your favorite cereal? Don't tell me Cinnamon Toast Crunch. On you, three. You know what? One, two, three. Cinnamon Apple Jacks. Crunch. Ah, cinnamon close enough. Crunch. Here we go. Damn. Another child. Bang rang. Oh. Damn, that's a problem. How close to this bus can I get at this speed? Do you think we can just so scrape the side of your... Oh, if you it broke try? off. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Instantly off. Were you nervous? No, because I didn't think you'd put yourself in danger. Yours and I beef bowl. Yours and I beef bowl. Yours and I beef bowl. Look at how it fast on. Oh, yours and I beef bowl. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, beef bowl. Let's uh, do that mud song. Okay. Hit it with the first. What verse. do we start off with? Let's see. How about mud is runny. Mud is runny. Mud is a running. Mud is a running. Yeah, I said the mud is a running. So running. Mud is a 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 running. That's a fucking hit. Mud is a running. So you better go out and get it. You know how to do stereo effects live. Better go out and get it. Steve, hold for just a sec. I, heard, I didn't realize you were so musically talented. What can I say, dude? You want me to do live um, auto tune too? Can you really? Yeah. Mud is a running. <sighs> Mud is a running. I have an offer for you. Okay. I know a guy. All right. He produces music. Okay. I know you've never done a music well, before. Nine cents store. And take, take a right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a right. That's <laughs> After coming out of the what 99 cents store. What if we just go to every 99 cent store? What do you think we're going to find? How many fun things are in here? Go ahead. Can I just have a little show and tell? Sure, time? sure. We've got Big Al's Red Rocket, and he's not ashamed of it. This is um, a Disney, this is a, it's, well, you know, they call it a pillbox. Um, what's this one? Get in there. It's a, you know, it's a piece of Wally's eyeball, and it goes on a little, that looks wonderful. Thanks. Look at that. You think so? Yeah, it looks great. I wonder if I can just periodically attach things to Go my Go ahead. Uh, you to want to put face. anything you want up to your face, you can do it. What is this one? Mud is a running. Mud is a It's a Sharpie, buddy. Mud is a running. Do you want Mud that it? No. It's down there. Mud in it. I'll get it. Look at this mortuary. You want to oh. see a dead body? Yeah. Holy shit, could we? Do you think we could? Honestly, what if we went in there and we made up a name? We're here to see Sandra. Oh, you're here to see uh, Sandra? Sandra. 
No, 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 Sandro. No, I know Sandro, yes. We took his body. He's very fresh still. It's okay. I think that's a good thing. We want to see a fresh You do want to see fresh Sandrum. body. Sandro. He's not, uh, we drain blood normally before we let the family see it. Uh, you want to see a wait or you want to go now? I think we go now. He's still in the bathtub. There's where, a bathtub here at the... Where we had no more room for the bodies. So it, the next best thing was to put the body in the bathtub. This sounds, the, the inappropriate. This sounds inappropriate for a body, you know what I mean? Well, it, I mean, he's a small bathtub, yes, true. So it's hard to fit. We did have to break his eye, a left kneecap. Oh. Pow to the knee! He's fitting in the tub again. I don't... So if you want to see him, he's... Yeah, but he's there. Physically, soul probably gone to the the uh, the zoo. How do you say uh, the how do you uh, the, the the zoo? Where are you from? I am from. Uh, it's missed uh, missed accents. <laughs> <laughs> you ever been over here to the four and twenty? The four and twenty. The four and twenty. What's the four? The four and twenty. You mean open twenty four hours? That's it's, what that says. No, it's just it's called the four and twenty. It's where th they this. filmed. Um, a lot of Parks and Rec. Oh, did they really? Yeah. As well as um, the bar from It's Always Sunny is somewhere around here. Oh, is it really? Very close by. I didn't know that. I once was uh, hiking up the Hollywood Mountain and they were shooting the paddy wagon video, uh, like episode there. And no I saw way. they had it blocked off, all the actors there, the paddy wagon was there and everything. That was so Wait, fun. really? Yeah, it was unbelievable. Did I you was stick like, around? Well, we yeah, for like probably like 10 minutes we stuck around. Did but, you jerk off? <laughs> I go without what I was saying. I've been yanking one out, tossing my chain, spinning the salad, flattening the eggs since I got in this car. Did you drop some ropes? Well, I laid some pipe down, but I'm not about to let the oil go through so early. I get it. Look at this shitty name for a place. Rob's Car Wash. More like Rob's Hog Wash. More like Rob's Dog Trash. Do you know where we are currently? We are still on Van Nuys Boulevard, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. Yeah, we are. We just went straight down, right? Yeah. Dude, I don't this even know. Is, I kind of live goes. around here, sort of. Like not sort of. Oh, I, I yeah, okay. I went to. I've been to your house one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that's a fun house. Yeah. Do you like shooting your podcast there? I do. It's nice. Yeah. If you haven't seen it, go check out Steve's podcast. It's called Dynamic Banter. That's right. It's very funny. With Mike Falzone. Didn't Autumn edited uh, a, like a yeah. thing for you guys one she time? She certainly very did. Very funny. Yeah, she's uh, funny. she's a good kid. That Autumn. She sure is. But she doesn't watch her goddamn tone. No, Sometimes. and she doesn't watch her language. Okay. Are you a Disneyland fan? No way. Don't you better turn that goddamn trash off. I'm so sorry, dude. Are you a Disneyland fan? I was gonna fan? take Do you like Disneyland? Which one's Disneyland? I've been to I did both. Disneyland is the one that's here. And Disney World is the one that's there. I'm thinking of Universal. You're thinking of Universal. You yeah. went to the place with the Harry Potter boys? I've been to the Harry Potter boys. Did you like that? Actually, no, I haven't been to the Harry Potter world. I okay. want to so bad. Okay. Alright. It's all here. I love me some Wingard Dream Leviosa. Sap. Are you, is that gang signs? Are you throwing gang signs? This one? It's a parking ticket. And I'm here to serve. You've been served. So. Well, now they know my address. Great. You had to, you had to show that. Fuck. Yeah, I'm still showing it. Oh, fuck. How many people are watching? Where's the comment section? It looks like 14. At least. Oh, at least. Oh, at least. What's your favorite movie? I want to know right now. <sighs> Ever. I have so, I'm such a movie buff, dude. There's so many good movies, but one that like... Beethoven? Fourth or fifth? I'm talking about the fourth. Oh, the dog one, you mean? Yeah, of course. Well, no. Tell me if you've seen this, though. Okay. Have you seen What Dreams May Come with Robin Williams? Yeah, I've seen that. I fucking love that movie. It's a great dude. movie. I love that film. It's a sad film. Oh, man. Breaks my heart. When he goes into find his wife and she doesn't remember his yeah. name. Do you remember when he goes to hell in that movie? Yeah, he goes to hell to find her and it's like fucking creepy, man. Like, you'd think that the guy that wrote that screenplay had to have done some LSD in his Oh, time. yeah. No way you can think of like the faces coming out of the ground Do you think that he, do you, so his wife was in hell because she killed herself? Is that why? Yeah, that's exactly why. Well, I think. Yeah, I think I so I mean, that's too. how they portrayed it. I can't remember. What movie? This is the one with the pirates and it's Oh, and they're in the Narnia. Uh, Arabian. Pirates of the Arabian. And the pirates of the Arabian. What? You got a little compartment down here? Yeah, baby. Oh, there's a gun in there. I didn't, I didn't mean to say that there was a gun in there out loud. 
it's just an odd, it's just, it's a timestamp to cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's an actual gun in there. I like the movie with the dinosaurs. Jurassic Land. The one where, the, at the end, the, bi the man in the biplane flies up into the... Are we talking... And uh, then the whole ship explodes. Oh, and then there's an uh, earthquake. I don't remember an earthquake. Oh, do you remember the earthquake? Ah, you probably didn't see it. Is that towards the end? No, it's like right in the, uh, in the beginning. The earthquake comes... It's the one where there's that... <laughs> but they also had... Uh, where was it? Oh. Oh. Hmm. I'm thinking. Oh. No, no. Oh! Yes! You get it now. Hey. Hey, you. Pitch me a movie idea right now. All right. Uh, give me a genre at least. Horror. Horror. Okay. It's a um, claymation. Okay. Uh, made by James Franco. Okay. So you know it's funny. Yeah. As well. Um, it's so it's a horror comedy. Three blind mice. The three blind mice are living in a hole in the wall. So it's from their perspective. Okay. And the cat owns the fucking house, of course. Okay. But one of the mice isn't blind, but doesn't know he's not blind because the other mice, their whole lives have been blind. So what, how does he know he can't see anything, that he can see things? These mice, their goal is to just escape the house. But the cat won't let him because the cat wants to eat the mouse. Uh, what why, why, like, why can't they just all be blind? Why does there have to be one that's not blind? Because there's got to be a dominant guy who knows what's going on. Well, no, you know what? Like, can, can I rewrite? Yeah, of course, man. Go for it. Okay, so there's three blind kids. Okay. And they're trying to kill a cat. The cat gets getting away because the cat's blind, too. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's fucking blind. I think I'm in. Okay. What about a horror movie where the, everyone's blind? <laughs> everyone's blind. What about a world where everyone's blind? Interesting concept. Like, it's a horror movie and everyone's blind. But no one's blind. Well, everyone's blind and then one baby is born with sight. But what ha what's... Where's the mid-drift of the movie? I'd say the... The... What happens is is they can they can get the ability to see from this girl but they have to trust her sight. and how do they know she can even see how do they know she's not just a crazy person interesting Ooh, maybe at first they do think she's crazy and maybe they put her in a loony bin or they put <gasps> her in like a mental institution. the only girl with sight is in a blind mental institution yeah because they're like yeah right bitch but they don't know the passcode because they're yeah. fucking blind do you think in a world where everyone's blind, they would even wear clothes? Absolutely, gotta keep warm. But maybe assless chaps aren't a thing. What about when it's the summertime? Maybe they wouldn't. No, maybe they wouldn't. It'd be a little more primal. How's that for a chicken bird? <laughs> Excuse me. Is that a real sneeze? Yeah. Do you sneeze every time someone burps? Is that what we do here? All right, my second movie. Okay, I think we should. I think we should seriously develop this blind person. No, I think that's a really cool idea because you've seen the movie where. Uh, or do you want to continue developing? It? Yeah, we can continue. Developing Let's continue developing. It. Well, what was the movie you were gonna say? But the movie I'm thinking of that is somewhat comparative, just in the sense of the whole world being, the whole world. They have to tell the truth. Have you Donnie seen that movie? Darko. That's the oh, one. No, no, you don't know what I'm talking about. The invention, the invention of, of lying. lying. Yeah, yeah, and the one guy can lie. The invention of lying. The invention of lions. The invention sorry. of lions. The adventures of lions. The, the divine inventions. The main. The person. It, they're in a mental institution. And yeah. How they do think they get she's out? Crazy. She finally just decides to say. So I think no. I think there's someone who works at the mental institution that believes her. Ah, and they're her way out kind of thing. Yeah, and that person becomes like, like the love interest or something. Ooh, and he's blind. So she wants to try to make him. Oh, and then that person can see and tries to convince everyone else. So he knows. I think. I think he knows. Mm -hmm. Us. Us. Uh, <sighs> breathe. Just breathe. He knows a scientist. Right. Or he knows like his friend is a scientist. Oh, and the scientists are trying to make it so that he can see. And he takes the girl to the scientist to study and says, "This girl can see." And they're like, "What is see?" What is C? They don't even know? What is C? Holy shit, that's deep. Right? What is C? 
Wow. Yeah, because how would they fucking know what yeah. sting is? Yeah. Oh my god, that's almost so hard to comprehend. Right? So then he's like, this woman has the ability to the, this world isn't just texture and solid. There's another dimension. There's another dimension of this world. Mind. And it's sight. Wow. And so they're like. She has to describe to him what it is. And then yeah. he does tests on her. Yeah. And then he just sees, or not sees, because he can't see. Of but I would love My this. My bad. What would the design of this world even look like? Because it. Would like, it be different post, post apocalyptic? I think it would look different because if it was a world where everyone was blind. The shit would be weird. Everything would be like. Would people Much even have? Braille? Would people even have eyes though? Well, that's up to you. That's up to you. Like, would people even like? Let's say I think they have eyes. They just can't. There's for some reason they can't see, and there's something that can be done for them to then be able to see. Is it too creepy if it's just like skin? Well, then how does anyone see? Or is there no hope for anybody else? It's just this one person. That's true. That's true. Exactly. Good point. They Good do point. need to be able to develop. They have to have eyes. It's the it's the not believing them and thinking they're crazy. What if there is actually a secret government agency? But that also black. can see the men in black, but they keep it hush hush because they're ruling the world. Ooh. And so, because they're a stray one trying to fix everybody else, government tries to shut them down. So that's and the bad guy. You find out that the people that can see, like basically, chemical warfare the world so that they couldn't see. So they were blind, and, and that's why girl, everyone's blind. Yeah, Chemical that's warfare. why everyone's blind. And the girl is an evolutionary step in the in a a um what do they call it a uh, um uh, 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 ecological ecological uh, footprint. Um, uh, 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 re, uh, breeze. Uh, re, really. Res, uh, oh, resistance. 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 They, they were I knew born, it. They're evolutionarily born with a resistance uh -huh. to the biological chemical weapon that caused right. the blindness initially. So this girl is the key. And then everyone's fucking. Everyone's Once they can see. Well, of course everyone's fucking. What would a world look like if it was just blind? Well, people, because people would still build huts, I'm assuming. There would yeah. still be buildings there would of be some shelter. sort. shelter. Colors what about would be predators? What, Would there be colors? So, oh, oh, hearing would be even better. Yeah, it because would be. Because when you lose a sight, mm. a, a sense. I wonder by how, how much senses, percentile. Can I put this? You could put it down, just baby. so I can do that. Yeah. There it is. And you're showing the address again. It's a, uh, you keep doing so that. So I'm thinking like if you, so yeah, if, if you don't have eyes, if you're blind, mm -hmm. then all of your other senses are. Touch, taste, smell, and shitting. And love and are love. all. Enhanced. Enhanced. So they have such powerful bonds with each other as people. Yeah, and it's so everyone's so... kind of connected on a more emotional level. Yeah. Even like strangers. What about like whole cities? Yeah, exactly. Strangers, like everyone's just a little more nice to each other. It's a better world almost. Whole cities. Imagine these scenes where mm -hmm. like people are walking down the street and they're blind. Right. And they just know, they just have like sense. Oh shit, so they can kind of like sense where you're, they just start walking yeah, around each other? Yeah, they maneuver around because they're just used to blindness. Oh fuck, that's actually so cool. I kind of like this, man. I would watch that movie. So would I. Can we make it? Mm hmm? Ah. What do we call it? What do we, uh. Let's call it. Sight. Thank you so much for coming on, Carpenter. Thanks, Frank.